You yeah. sure? All right, yeah. we good. Welcome back. Cooling out. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. It feels like it's been a long time. It does. I don't know why. I don't know why. But yeah, it feels it's only like been a week. I know, but it feels like it's been longer. Maybe because these days have just been dragging along. Yeah. Like, it feels like we haven't put out an episode in, like, two weeks. Even though I know we put out one last week. But it feels like it's been a minute. Yeah, this week in particular has been just yeah. dragging. I don't know what it is, but. We were texting earlier today. Like, uh, we were at work, and I'm like, yo, I don't know what it is about this week, but. Every day has been feeling like 16 hours. It's been taking forever yeah. for like the day to end. I don't know what it is. <sighs> hey, at least a break comes to, well, fun we only got, comes. <laughs> we only got two more summer Fridays. I know. Then we got Labor Day weekend, though. Yeah, I have plans galore. I'm ready to leave it all out there. <laughs> and then the weekend after that. Oh, so yeah. This is what's going to happen. Damn. So September 1st, we're going to go bonkers. That shit has to happen. I'm going to lose my fucking mind. You, I'm sure you're going to lose your mind times two. I'm sure we already know who's going to lose their yeah. mind times three. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to have to get in the gym all week. Yeah. Get that shit up out of me because we're going to New Orleans the week after that. And I'm going to have to be on a <laughs> <Gone> thousand. <laughs> like, that's it. I'm about to be on a thousand. You ever seen Girls Trip? Yeah. Where they doing that? Uh, oh, the zip line the, the zip across? zip line yeah. across? I'm trying to do some wild <laughs> shit like that. I'm trying to do some shit like that. Like just get super drunk and like fuck it, let's go zip line in the middle of Bourbon Street. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm just want to have fun. Like this Drake thing popped up. Ooh, that's ooh, happening ooh, on ooh, Sunday. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Didn't that pop up Forget yesterday? Me. And we, <laughs> my judgment is clouded. No, no, it's cool. Oh my god, people. <sighs> where, where do I start with this? Sorry, this, this is this is we got to go off on this for a little bit. I get a um. A DM yesterday from Carl, good brother. He's been on the podcast a couple of times. Y'all should know him by now. Um, he sent me something from from Champagne Poppy, aka Drake, aka Aubrey Graham, and it was like the Mirage mm-hmm. Sunday, August twenty sixth. I'm not even thinking. I'm like, oh shit, that's dope, bro. And I'm like, wait, what? Like <laughs> Drake gonna be in Brooklyn on Sunday? Had to book it. Yep, had to book it. That'll be fun. So yeah. we about to go see Drake on Sunday at the Mirage in Brooklyn. Yeah, it's probably going to impact my work performance Monday. Oh, week. I'm about to brush up on my Scorpion. I'm about to brush up on every single song. Even I'm upset. I'm going to know all the words to it just so I can rock, vibe out and rock out. And then the Monday, because it's Sunday, I didn't realize it goes to 1 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. I saw that. Yo, when you sent me the tickets today, I was like, yo. I know. I say, you know, you're getting old, though. You start looking at Tobbs. I'm like, 1 o'clock. I know. Yo, Monday about to be so sluggish. That's why I sat out summer slam. I was like, ah. Damn. It's couch warm. I mean, you don't have to stay till one. See how it's the vibes are. I see how the vibes going, bro. If Drake is just performing mad I sets, know. I agree. I ain't about to just walk out. I know. I we'll agree. just have to live with it the next day. Our boss is just gonna have to deal with it. Yeah, that's some. Whew. But yeah, Aubrey. I yeah, that'll be fun. So I can't wait for Sunday to do that. Can't wait for uh, tomorrow. A nice move. Friday. Something got to happen. I don't know if it's a Bushwick move or Park Slope move. Hmm. We're going to have to figure that out. got to look at the hobo pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you who don't know, actually, I'm going to give free promo because it's a great yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good. great thing. There's this thing in um, Brooklyn and a bunch of other random cities called the Pub Pass. You pay $20 and you get, is it 20 free beers? Yeah. 20 free beers at um, just local bars that participates in the it's like a passport but it's called the pub pass really good in, in uh investment so me and kevin have been like running all over brooklyn trying to hit all these random bars for the summers out so that's what we're talking about when we call it the hobo pass because <laughs> it's when you're down to your last dollar you like oh i get i get a free bin somewhere i bet <laughs> but um yeah we definitely should pub pass it out yeah the bushwick the bushwick move we made uh, i, I want to do that again so bad but we ran our own locations yeah, that's the, that's the issue with Bushwick. Everything out there is so far spread apart. As far as like where we went to the we went, what's the name of that place? I know what it is. Oh, okay, okay. Wasn't it all like ten minutes from where we started to where we ended up? That's far from me, Kev. That's fair. Well, it's not that it's far, so cheap. But I'm though. talking about like in comparison to like a which is a a poor comparison, but like a Williamsburg or like a Park Slope, even where it's like next door, next door, next door, next door, or down the block, right around the corner. Or even like a bad style where things are, if seemingly feel closer than when we were in Bushwick that day. I was like, damn, like, where's the next bar at? But then again, True. we were on Pub Pass alert. We're pub Passing. 
and they have that strip there that has it's where we we got them two dollar beers at. Oh. There's a whole strip there because if we do if we do park slope, that's kind of we'd have to walk. Oh. There's a couple locations all in the hobo pass, but we'd have to walk. Yeah. Ooh. Probably about equal distance. We might have to make a sacrifice. We might we might have to hit both. We might have to see. Look, man. What the pool looking like? Two p.m. Oh, I got I got the unlimited metro. I do too. We might hop back on that. Two p.m. I ain't too good for my St. John's days. I'm not either. Y'all been realizing? I've been Ubering a lot places. I don't know what it is. I think I'm getting bougie. Yeah. That shit costs. I mean, it don't cost like. Individual, I'm like, oh, five dollars here, ten dollars here, but that shit adds up. I'm looking like y'all give Uber so much money, and it's like places I could easily just get on a train and go to. Yeah, I, I get tempted <laughs> because I work on CPT. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm just take the train to go. To come back though, it's a that, must. Oh, that's different. It's a must. That's different. Ain't no way how I'm coming home at three o'clock in the morning on no MTA. Oh no, been there. Nah, we we did let's that. That's not before. yet. Let's not even. I, let's we're not gonna hash on. that up. <laughs> we're not, we're not, we're not even gonna talk they about them. They don't need to know about them dates. But my point in saying that was that I'm gonna try to start taking the train more often. Like I literally like took it to heart. I'm like, I don't ride the train on the weekends as if like it was like something that was so far beneath me. Like yeah. I'm not taking the train. Like I'm gonna take the train. Like why not? Like save myself. Yeah, especially in Brooklyn, it's just a bus. That's the thing, a bus or a train. I don't, I don't even look I anymore. Started I just biking. I just automatically <laughs> assume, yeah, I'm taking an Uber today. Yeah, I just it is more comfort. I, I ain't gonna it's blame you, but it's like sometimes it's like if I'm not in a rush, that's a just, beer right I there. Just get on the train, cocktail maybe. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes too. Yeah, in Brooklyn, yeah, yeah sometimes that, too. Yeah, we I know a no spot. Rush. That's two. Yeah, yeah, we gonna figure Friday out. This is wine we sipping on right now. I know. I wish I bought the bottle. That was a good call on chilling it. Mm. Yeah, it's on my palate. I'm like, mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, but yeah, we have to discuss those moves because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> some is uh dwindling away from us up here. It was like a, I think at the high today it was like 78. Yeah, I think Sunday was like highest 72, lowest 65. I can't I'm like, live since like when? that. But you said, did I tell you that though? That's how it I, comes. I told him this two weeks ago on the podcast or three weeks ago on the podcast. We're talking about the weather and how fast it, it changes in New on York. You. One day it'd be ninety eight. You look, 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 look at the ten day forecast. You start seeing some seventy twos out there. A lot more seventy two. Bro, I'm telling you that that third week of September, I remember because I remember being at St. John's and being like when I first moved back up there from Atlanta and being like, yo, what the hell? Like <laughs> the shivers. Me- remember that free uh, St. John's hoodie they gave us freshman year? Yeah, you need it. I remember having to put it on <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> nigga via Mongor, it's like, ooh, you didn't get that quick chill. <laughs> like, ooh. Do that quick little uh shoulder lean real quick. Like, God damn <laughs> Like, yo, why y'all living like this? Ooh. But nah, yeah, yeah, so we don't got too much time with the sun, so we gotta appreciate the sun. I agree. I'm trying to give the sun my all. Yeah. Trying to give the Putting sun. Putting in the overdrive. Mm-hmm. Responsible overdrive. <laughs> On a work day. Yeah, I mean, once I'm gonna start making some more weekday moves, man. I do, and Not I control heavy, myself. Not yeah, heavy. you see, see, you do them. I don't do them at all. I haven't. Like, what's happening tomorrow is a rarity, and I'm I'm grateful for it. The oh. way this week's, yeah. That's nah. why I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start making some weekday moves. It's, like, but it's also just because it's like it teaches you to be more responsible. Because mm-hmm. like before, I made a weekday move. I treat that shit like it was a Saturday. Yep. All out the yeah. window. <laughs> be at work Figure it out day. later. Same clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> done that a oh couple of times. Oh my god! When I go through my roller deck, yo, we at work the next day. Same clothes. Like people like, <laughs> you wear that. Like mind your damn business. <laughs> done that one a couple of times. So it's like, uh, but you like you know just you can still be outside and have a good time. Yeah. And realistically, New York City, granted, overall it's a very expensive city. But because there's so many bars, there's, there's so, so many, many good happy hours. There's so many deals. It's like, it's not even funny. Even in Brooklyn, is easy. Like, oh, yeah. We could rattle off. We're not going to because they're not sponsored. Yeah. But even in the city, though, I know a couple spots it's that a if bunch you go to. Of, yeah. To like eight, nine. Because they have to be competitive. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, imagine if we, say we live here for the rest of our lives, right? Mm-hmm. We'll never hit every single bar. I know. In New York City, which is crazy. Or not even New York City because I'm not even talking about you know Bronx, Queens, and Staten, um, Island. Staten Island. We don't count. shout out Astoria though. Some parts day. of Queens, I'm not even yeah. like yeah, like LIC, LIC and Astoria. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, those those two areas in Queens and then um, Brooklyn and 
certain Brooklyn to a certain extent. Yes. Got to carve it out. I know what you mean. <laughs> and then even Manhattan to a certain extent. Yep. Got to carve that out because that's too high. You got you to gotta have boundaries. Yeah, you got to have boundaries. You got to have boundaries. But even within those limitations that we set for ourselves, like we still would never. <laughs> but it's also because, like, one opens up every single day. Yeah. Like, the more they gentrify an area, the more they put, like, things. You put a coffee shop there, that coffee, you know what I realize also? Yeah. Coffee shops are turning into they bars. They convert in the, <laughs> yeah. They convert in that night. Yep, around 435. I've been looking at a lot of places, like, uh, I'm going to say, uh, Father Knows Best, for example. Right? Yeah. We've never been there, so I really don't care. I don't, I have no. Yeah, I heard like, good things. Yeah, yeah, I heard good things, but whatever. But, like, they're a coffee shop in a day. And they turn to a full fl- full fledged bar at night. That's smart, you gotta pay the like, rent. Compared to like a bunch of other places that we that we frequent that, that do the same exact thing. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, wow, it's like a pretty. I mean, it's smart, obviously, because like you get the daytime people who love their coffee, need Wi Fi, want to sit there and study all day, and then you get the nighttime people who want to party. You convert them. Yep. If you still serving coffee, that's just yep. I see some certain coffee shops. You walk by like a, a Friday, a Saturday, they're closed at like six. I'm like. What do you think this is? The one that's around the corner from my apartment, the one that um, we're working on the website at. Yeah. They close at, at seven. They must really con- seven. They getting good business. I'm like, I, I don't get it. Cause like I remember one night I wanted to like stop there. I thought I was gonna like you know do some work there. And I'm like seven. I'm like y'all don't really want this money. <laughs> they don't. Seven. Who? They won't be around next year. <laughs> People get to work around that time. Like I don't mean like me getting home at seven is like a a good day. Yeah. I'm like you closed. Disappointment. I know what you mean. I'm like, what kind of fake coffee shop? <laughs> That's how I knew Best I wasn't fully gentr- gentrified yet. Yeah. Because I was like, all right, there must not be a demand here for this. Yeah, I got but a spot if near they me. put a bar there, there'll mm-hmm. be a demand there. Right there in that little area. Yeah. There'll be a demand, but they ain't smart. Hey, man. We can't, it's we their can't, rent. We can't give them everything. Exactly. What we can do is, is look. You hmm. can pray. <laughs> oh, man. What else do we have on the, on the, the dash? How was your weekend? Today? My weekend? How was my weekend? Did I do anything this weekend? Yeah, I'm trying to think. How my weekend? Oh, okay. <laughs> think. That's all. Went home. Peaceful. Yo, damn. You gotta have the calm. I'm ones. wildin'. <laughs> that fast. Forgot about. Love you, ma. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I promise. I was like, what did I do this weekend? Um, love, my, love my family to death. Mm-hmm. Um, glad I don't live with them. Mm-hmm. You need that. Uh, that distance. That distance. I was like, like Sunday when I was like right before I was about to leave. I was like, God damn! Like, I was like, what time? What time my train leave? Like, shit! <laughs> I get out of here. Like, like little things. Mm-hmm. Like my family is loud. I know they're loud. But when you're not when you're not around them all the time, mm-hmm. it's eight o'clock in the morning. Why are you hollering? Like, love yeah. them to death. Yep. Imagine, love you to yeah, death. The long days after work. Imagine just diving in. Yeah. There. Nah. I need that That's space. Just it was. It's blessing. good to see you. I mean, I'm, I have to like. Start visiting my family more often, mm-hmm. so I don't take enough time to like go down there and visit them. You ain't got no excuse. Your mama lived like thirty yeah. minutes away. Yeah, I don't. I don't. My mama lived like I saw her. I saw her on Sunday though. I did, I went back home. Oh yeah, for a couple hours. I, yeah. oh, a couple hours. Yeah, right, you checked in. <laughs> yeah, I checked in. Treating it like I do more often. Treating like an more. Airbnb. I. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, Kev. <laughs> it's all about the thought. <laughs> Yo, no, it's hard. My pops live up here, and I'm like, I saw him. What three weeks ago now? And the last time I saw him before that was June. And that's because we went to Virginia for my brother's thirtieth birthday. And before that was like God knows when. It was cold outside when I saw him before that. I remember I met him in like Upper East Side. So I was still living in the Bronx. That's the last time I saw him before that. Shit, because it's up, tough. Upper yo. East Side was convenient for me. That's the th- work is just engulfs your week, mm-hmm. and then when the weekend comes. <laughs> You just need you. You want that me time? You're yeah. Trying, you're like trying to find a balance between me time. Because I don't think brunch exists in the uh, in the uh, parental black vocabulary. It don't brunch though. It gotta be like a dinner. What's that? So <laughs> you sit out and it's like Mm-mm. those prime time hours that I need to recharge myself. Yeah, <laughs> you need you. I need that energy for me. me. Yeah, but I mean, like, so the thing is, my my father understands, but just like he lives in the Bronx. Yeah, and I live in Brooklyn. Like people. Who don't live in New York They'd be like Oh well that's cool You just get on a train and go I could But yeah That's like an hour Yeah for reference Hour 30 Yeah I was in uh, My girlfriend and I Went to Flushing on Friday For a game night With her friends Flushing Queens Yeah We drove 
I thought Flushing Avenue. Like no, real, no, no, no. <laughs> I was no, like, that's right around the corner. <laughs> if you took a train from where we live, that's oh. an hour 30. Yeah. If we if we left from here now to go to Coney Island, we were an hour plus on the train. Yep. So people need to understand the magnitude. Yeah, the train doesn't... I mean, it takes you everywhere. It's very convenient. But it's but not as rapid as everyone thinks it is. Yeah. It doesn't... Like, you know what's funny? I thought that. Like, I remember, like, when I moved to Atlanta and I was, like, taking the train to Atlanta. I was like, oh, damn... New York, so this shit, this shit go everywhere. I'll be, I'll be already in Brooklyn by now. Da, da, da. <laughs> and then it does, I'm, I'm back up so. here, and St. John's taught me that lesson. Oh. Where we were like in St. John's trying to travel into what the city. It? 40 minutes? What was the, uh, <laughs> what was the advertised time? What, they advertised 25 minutes. <laughs> 25 minutes to Midtown Manhattan. Con I love man. my college to death, but uh. nah. You gotta wait for that bus. Oh my God! Go, yo! Ah, uh. <laughs> you been waiting for the bus after the long nights out, and then bus like I can't, yeah. When I bus, the bus like ran like once an hour. Oh, when I were reclining these Ubers now, <laughs> I reflect back <laughs> when we would imagine taking a train, yo, and. If you wanted to walk from the closest train, regardless of where you got off, it's at least thirty minutes. At least twenty, thirty minutes. At least you getting all your steps in. All of them. It's like, it, no way in hell is 25 minutes. 25 minutes. It ain't even 25 minutes once you get to the train. <laughs> <laughs> Am I lying? No. It's not even 25 By minutes. The time you leave your building and you walk to the bus stop and wait for the bus stop to get to your respective stop. Yeah. Depending on where you go. About an hour. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, that door to door, yeah. And I remember, like, I remember, like, when I first moved back up there. Before a cab. I was <laughs> mapping it out. Like, oh, cool. This ain't too bad. I could just go here. And I was like, even, like, I was like, I could walk down the, um... 169th on the F. Mm-hmm. I, like, oh, I should be. T- I'm counting the stops. Like, oh, this is, this is an express train. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Thirty. Huh? Nah. Huh? I move up there. I'm like, yo, this shit moving <laughs> slow. It's always train traffic. Always delays. I'm like, yeah. If I want to go see, like, if I drove to my dad, maybe thirty minutes on the train to go to my dad. Yeah. An hour, hour thirty. That Bronx is just too much. Because every train to go to the Bronx has to go through Manhattan. Yeah. So you have to go, like, start from Brooklyn, go through the bottom of Manhattan, travel all the way up to the top of Manhattan just to go in the, into the Bronx. It's a journey, man. A journey one ain't willing to take. No, no. So I be telling but no. then he'd be like, I don't know. It's also like, that's my just pure laziness, though. So, like, meet me in the city, and I'm like, even that sounds far, though. When, when is it? On a weekend? Yeah, on a Saturday. It's tough. It's, it's tough. tough on a Saturday to get back up and go into the For city. For context, yeah, we both work in the city. I don't even remember the last time I've gone out. Like, my girlfriend, we have plans, obviously, you yeah. know, a weekend. I was like, oh, that's that would be exciting because I haven't done that mm-hmm. on a weekend. Ooh, speaking of. In qu- general. Haven't done that in general. Quick side note. I got to find out who else is going to this. Mm-hmm. Who won't get in on this two, this two, two, oh, two, yeah, yeah, two I, for one deal with I got me. you. I got you. I think I might get I got to work. Yeah, I got yeah, I might get tense. Yeah, but, um. <laughs> <laughs> But um, what was I saying? Yeah, once you get out the city. Oh, yeah. And the, Brooklyn is like. It's too much going on. And everyone's free. The city reminds me of stress. It reminds me of work. Yeah. And also, the city doesn't have any culture. Yeah, this is a creative. When you look yeah. around, it's very distinct. And Yeah, the city does not have any culture. It's like all these like, all right, cool. This is an Irish bar. This is like your American bar. This is like your, you know, college bar. It's like everything's very yeah. blah, blah, blah. Brooklyn, you have like. 18 different coaches 18 different like personality types like just what? different everything you have the golfs the you still see bodegas yeah but then, then you you have cash only places yeah but then you have a, like an upscale place pop, and it's different it's just different and also there's no like dress codes yeah everyone's they just don't care everyone's no. just being themselves you see people when they were piercings from their nipples all the way up to yeah. their ears <laughs> like just crazy green shit. hair pink hair yeah but it's like whatever be yourself Self, yep. be happy be in brooklyn yeah, and get your five dollar Ben shot or your three dollar cocktail. Woo! Hey, man, beat it's it, a blessing. Man. That's it's a blessing. Facts. It's a blessing. How was your weekend though? Uh pretty calm. Friday. Oh, game night, like I said. Mm-hmm. How uh, was that? It was fun. Yeah. It what games fun. y'all play? Yeah. Damn, what's the one? <laughs> head up, head up. We played head up. Oh, heads up. On heads the phone? up. Yeah. You should get the um. Damn, what's it called? Go ahead, talk it for a second. I gotta, I gotta figure out what it's called. Jesse Williams created a black version of it. Okay, <laughs> where it has like references to like Martin. Oh, Bleb Blebrity. 
Blood Bridge. Okay. Ninety nine cents. I bought it. But it's like it has like Martin references and shit. Like it's fun. Yeah, it's pretty. Same, it's same concept. It's just like all black references. No, but yeah, I had a good time. We're all all the way in Flushing, but you get to catch up with people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just ordered food and played like one game, but it was fun. Oh, heads up is fun though, especially yeah. when you get like a nice group of people. Yeah. Yeah. What else happened? Uh, Saturday, I caught up with my buddy in Williamsburg. We went to a beer garden, just got yeah. some food, some lunch. So I was back home by 6.30. I just chilled in with my girlfriend. It was mm. nice. Woke up refreshed on Sunday. Mm. Went to go see my mom and my family. Mm. Check in. Let them know I still love them. <laughs> <laughs> Cat still got love for still you. Still got love for them. I was back home by like 7. I just chilled out, caught up with my girl, and watched Summer Slam. Nice, peaceful. Woke up Monday rejuvenated. Yeah, and somehow this week is still just coasting along. Yep. And that's the thing. Just coasting <laughs> yep. along. It's like the sand in the hourglass, and it's just... <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo, when is Friday going to get here? It's crazy. Let's yeah, see. I missed my Friday off, but... Anything of interest this week? We're going to talk about the GOAT real quick. Our GOAT. Mm-hmm. Again, you know... Some some light, you know these rookies. They just keep voting him as the best player in the NBA. Hey, it's like the fourth season in a row now. Mm-hmm. I think Steph Curry won it that one year, that second MVP year. Second MVP I year. Ain't yeah. mad at he them, got voted. Yeah, we gotta do one of those eight in the last nine years. The rookies voted. LeBron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> by by a, by a large margin, I think LeBron got like forty eight percent. Who was second? Steph and KD tied for second at eight. No, yeah, at eight percent each. LeBron got 48 Margins 16 combined for the next two So where the other uh, What was that 36 go Wow That's I just impressive stopped, I just stopped looking After I saw the, the, the margins That is crazy Yeah I said mm. I wouldn't expect Curry to tie for three Pew! We're harder than Westbrook plays I didn't even look I said margins Yeah Bron That is a yeah Before you continue I got the alert Not the one today There was another one yesterday uh, Bleacher Report, KD, LeBron, Russell Westbrook, Paul George, and James Harden all converge for a pickup game. Mm. But the alert is, for them playing while LeBron watches on. <laughs> King shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see the video. He just did chilling while they playing pickup. <laughs> King shit. But continue. I wonder why he ain't play, though. For I real, do bro. wonder, too. But hey. Hey. Your bed, your uh, y'all run around. I got enough miles on my body. Y'all just y'all kill y'all shit. <laughs> Damn. But then even like what? Five minutes ago tonight? Not five minutes. Ago, that's a lot. Like an hour or two ago now. Juan hit and then strong. Yeah, that's a good one. We got that up. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, what? Five <laughs> minutes ago? No, that was five minutes ago. Mm, that's some good ass Juan. But um, got the alert. Um, Kawhi, KD, LeBron Come on, working out, working out at UCLA. I said summer 2019. Raptor fans. Summer 2019, you can't come fast enough. You won't retain him. He's going. Kawhi's going. Yo. I ain't going. This is like the third time I've seen KD and LeBron pop up in something. First, this, this summer, summer alone. alone. They, they hanging out privately. They that, splitting up Draymond and Tristan from yeah. Mr. Cup. Putting <laughs> <laughs> hands. Now it is. They just out here. Hey, I ain't going to read too much into but it. But when I said Kawhi out there. That means he had to answer his phone. <laughs> That's true. How are you getting in contact with Kawhi? <laughs> That's a good point. I said Kawhi. And he was smiling in the picture. <laughs> I said, he right at home. Right the fans. But LA would do that to people. I ain't going to lie. Imagine if Kawhi like, was just like really quiet because he's outside of his comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Like and if you like, get, he one of those if you if you get to know him. Kind he got, no, when he gets to LA, he's just like, this is my, like, this is my territory. I'm loud. <laughs> Like for example, right when I first when I moved to North Carolina, I was super quiet. Like cause it was like this is all like new to me. I was mm. like I lost all my confidence. I was just like I don't know what the hell's really going on out here. Like this this wasn't New York City to me. Got back to New York, I'm like boom boom boom, and I'm like talking all the damn time. Imagine if Kawhi is one of the, one of the people who just like he get back to LA, he'd be like selling Jordan sneakers galore. <laughs> <laughs> just like every other commercial. Yeah, <laughs> you see Kawhi <laughs> like. Oh my God! Yeah, next season I, I think he's gonna enjoy it, but then that cold's gonna hit, Mm-mm. and he's gonna remember LA. I think he's gonna give his all because he has no choice at this point. Yeah, he gotta prove he can actually still ball. Yeah, he gonna give his all, but just audition. Let Magic know you just still got it. That's all. 
We got that max waiting for you. He gonna give us all, but like that caught me off guard. That I'm working out. Him with Braun and KD. That's true. I mean, he had to answer some text messages. That's Every- the best three forwards in the game. Power, right. th- uh, small small forwards. forwards right there. Best three forwards. Period. Who better no, no, than them? No. Shout out AD. AD Ooh, get it. AD play. Yeah, it's he, AD and Kawhi. Sometimes be fifth. Somebody, somebody, somebody play AD, the five. Yeah, AD or Kawhi for that third forward spot. Them, them other two, the one and two. You close nah, though. AD, AD better. AD better than Kawhi. No, yeah, yeah, I'm saying Durant and LeBron one yeah, and two. Yeah, but AD but. always hurt. Yeah, but not them numbers he put up. It's close. It's close, but. But yeah, yeah my all forward team though is those four. Yeah, yeah those right are the quick. three best. Oh, small Giannis. Forward. Where you? Nah, he'd probably be fifth. Yeah, if Kawhi's nah, fully Giannis ain't played in. Nah, I, I'm not picking he him. He ain't matured enough. He fifth, though, in the forward list. But, but yeah, yeah, it's funny because exactly. last year in fantasy, someone picked up Kawhi before Giannis. And he, and he ain't playing at all last no, season. No, he gave him nine games. Remember two days <laughs> after, 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 two days after we did the draft? Is that when the video that came video out? That video came out of. <laughs> He was stumbling up of the plane stuff. Barely get up the uh, up the plane stuff. That was concerning. Barely get up. I was like, damn. Yeah, because yeah, that- most time you see like they're like, oh, NBA players are hurt, and like you'll see them just like moseying around town. Like even Demarcus Cousins recovering from an ACL tear. Yeah, he just walking around all fine. Like you're like, yo, you can't he put play out ba- a video with him sprinting on a treadmill. And I'm like, yo, you can't play basketball. Sprinting, but Kawhi on a tre- couldn't walk up steps. Yeah, I was like, you gonna be ready for next season? But I was like, you know, I'm just a fan. What do I know? Yeah, but Boogie sprinting on the treadmill is different, though, because basketball is a lot of starting and stopping. Yeah. No, without question. Yeah. <laughs> but you just told your Achilles. You're human. You just told your Achilles a couple months ago. and you. Modern yeah. science, man. These people recover from things way faster. But um, you think KD remains with Golden State after he wins his third title and no. uh, third finals MVP? No. Where he go next? Just a quick side note. I saw, you know – Couple reports today mm-hmm. um, about KD coming to the Knicks, and I was torn. Now I'm lying; I wasn't torn. <laughs> no. All this shit I told about KD, if he come to the Welcome. Knicks, come. <laughs> if he comes in, I'm buying a jersey. Welcome. I'm, I'm gonna buy him a brush. I'm doing everything. What KD? Are you kidding? So yo, that gap ain't that big between him and Braun. <laughs> Braun only getting older. Listen. Hey. You have KD in, in Mass Square Garden. KD I might go to a game. I might, I might. Oh no, I would definitely. I might have to go dig to a deep game. into my pockets to get to get into a get a games. nosebleed. <laughs> you know how much nosebleeds cost? No, it's insane. I know. I that's a, that's a whole other story mm-hmm. for another day. Because that sh- you'd be like paying a hundred dollars to go to a nosebleed. If you're lucky, yeah. <laughs> if you're lucky, right? Depending on who they playing, you gotta go when they playing like the Hornets or something. The Kings. Yeah, the Kings. You gotta go when they playing some trash team. Shout out to Ed. <laughs> oh my oh. But yeah I mean Just wanted to Drop that fact on you guys Let you know LeBron's still the GOAT Yeah without question Period And everybody knows it Everybody knows Majority it. know it They be trying to I think people I don't know if it's just These old heads cause At first I was like Oh it's an old head mentality But I mean a lot of young people Who ain't never even seen Jordan play mm-hmm. And be acting like Oh it's still Jordan Yeah I think his sneak. I think his sneakers play a big part in that, though. Yeah. Look, I've never seen a more complete basketball player on the court ever. He give you thirty. He'll drop twelve assists, collect uh, like eight, ten rebounds, still block your shot, and then lock down your best player when called upon. Ever in one game. Ever. I'm sorry. Like old Jordan played better defense. They weren't stretching the floor the way they stretching the floor. Now you got to guard people literally thirty five feet from that, the basket. And he has Scottie Pippen. Yep. Who was arguably a better defender than he was? And Dennis Rodman, and yeah, one of the greatest rebounders of all time, and defenders, and defenders. Again. But hey, you know what? Let me not, you know, get in this tan. And he, you know, he's a lot of first round exits before he got them. Hey, apparently it's only good if you get to the finals and mm-hmm. win, but if you get there and lose, it's not the same. Hey, been to the finals six times. And won six times, but what happened to all the mother? All the mother, what? And they don't count. Seven, eight. It wasn't in the finals. Seven, it eight seasons. Count. It doesn't count. No, oh, yeah, first round exits, those don't count apparently. Hey. What do we know? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what else happened this week, people? Uh, Nicki Minaj went ballistic on Twitter. You think she on drugs? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> what else can explain this? 
so even today, she like was it yesterday? She put out a tweet. It was like when tra- when they, we found out Travis Scott was still number one, and she was number two. She was like, "Stop lying! I'm number one." <laughs> like <laughs> that, and that she talked to Travis, and that he knows that she got the number one album <laughs> in the country. <laughs> she went after him, Kylie, their baby, Stormy. Yo, because it was like uh, they dropped. What Travis did was a couple months ago. He pretty much, he paired the CD with the merchandise for his tour. Mm-hmm. So if you bought the merchandise, it would count as an album sale. Oh. And she was trying to do that last week because from what I read, the numbers came back, preliminary numbers, and they weren't as high as she would like them to be. So what she wanted to do was also do something similar, pair Queen with um, some merchandise for a tour. Mm-hmm. But because she tried to do it midweek yeah. of the album. She ain't got no pull like Yeah, that. versus Travis who. Like management prepared him, she was mad. Cause she's like, Billboard need to change the rules. She calling out how Drake's face was on every single Spotify playlist, and that um, Spotify was punishing her for playing her music ten minutes early on Apple Music. It was so weird. She just comes off so unlikable. You know what she reminded me of? What? Gucci when he was going through his shit. Oh, I rem- you remember when he went on that Twitter rant yeah. about all the people he slept with? And, and how the- him and Walker ran a train on Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Like, this is what it reminds me of, like, these these pill popish. Like, she on these, these pillish behaviors. It's so erratic. Behaviors. It's like. Are you just naturally want to come across this unlikable? I don't know, bro. I And I was like, in my mind when I saw this, like. You don't want people to like you, but also, damn, your other albums must have been number one for real for you to care this much. They were. Her last album was number two. Pink Print or whatever came came in at number two. It sold more, but it was number I would two. I say it sold more. But she still was beloved at the time. Yeah. Who was number one when Pink Print came out? I don't know. I got to check. Oh. I got to check. Sure, it was like a Kanye or someone like yeah. that, or maybe even a Drake. I don't know. Why she hating on Drake, though? I guess she, I don't know. I guess it was her truth. She was. I don't know. Come on, Drake face on Spotify. First of all, that would that would just undercut her entire argument. She said that they're mad because she, her she gave um, Apple Apple music. music her album dropped ten minutes before that. Drake almost does everything exclusively through Apple Music. Yeah, like that undercuts your argument. Spotify just. Well, not not it. this last one though. Well, I'm not, not saying like he drops yeah, an yeah. album exclusively, but I'm saying like he does his um, OVO sound and all that stuff on Apple Music. Like he's affiliated with Apple Music. Yeah. Sound Spotify has his faces everything because he's was popping right. Yeah. Well, always, but he's was hot. Yeah, you know I'm like just a quick yeah. You shouldn't mention. It's not even a slight. She's extremely popular, but there's certain artists, not just Drake. Drake is like the probably the pinnacle, but like you can't you can't mention a Drake, a Kendrick, a J Cole. Like their popularity mm-hmm. as popular as you are as a rapper, not even as a female as a rapper, and she is. Yeah. You're not as popular as them, so it's like you can't. And then she named people. I could see I if it was like a tier two or tier three rap, yeah. tier three rapper. Sorry, because she's like, uh, oh God, what'd she say? She named a bunch of people: the Carters, I think Nas, and she was said something about the numbers, like nobody's selling 400k on their debuts, like she does anymore. And she was just probably just like trying to cop please about why her album did what it did. Oh my god! And the big thing is that Cardi's album sold like two hundred thousand plus. Yeah, I think between like two thirty, two fifty, or a little less than that. Mm-hmm. So that's what it's really about. Of course, because you can't name your album Queen and then somebody, a female rapper, dropped in the, just a couple months ago yeah. and outsold you first month. And this your worst selling album. And you let the prior reigning Travis Scott second week outsold you. Second week. So I get it, but it's. Like, you're bringing attention to something that's not that important. She also delayed numerous times and then dropped numerous. and then and then dropped out of nowhere. You ain't Beyonce. Her first rollout was last year. I don't know if you remember when Remy Ma um, dropped that uh, that Sheether. That yes, disc. yes, 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 yes. She dropped like three songs in the next couple of weeks. One was with um, Wayne and Drake, and mm-hmm. one was with Wayne separate, and then one solo, and they didn't do anything. Yeah, that was her initial rollout. So now, fast forward, we finally get here. The album's out. Just like people are happy from the reception, yeah, yeah, yeah. People like the album, but but do you just, realize that like the day so that her album came out midnight Friday? Oh, that's another thing. She said she lost thought on twelve hours of sales. Don't ask me. Thursday, but Thursday that morning of Thursday, she said that, or was it Wednesday that morning of Wednesday? She announced that it was getting delayed again. 
Yeah. So then it was you, originally supposed to drop the seventeenth. Yeah, she said it was getting delayed again, and then you just drop it that Friday randomly and expect your numbers to do well. Like, don't. And the only reason why she probably even got that is because people were like, we're going ham about about um, Barbie dreams. Yeah. But like, I didn't know her 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 shit drop. Like, no one would have known. Like, you're not. Well, she sorry. She is a superstar. I'm not. I'm not going to shit on her. Mm-hmm. Respect. She's a superstar. But like, most superstars who just drop like that, like without telling people. They just dropped Like you You delayed multiple times And then two days before that Said it was delayed again And then just dropped it On a Friday Yeah you gotta Yeah it was like It, it wasn't the, the rollout was like It was terrible mm-hmm. But it goes to show She still did like One something I think 180 180 Which, 180, which still which speaks really Which still good. speaks To her star power Because yeah. after all the delays And you just throwing it out there You still got 180 something But she also I read <clears throat> She added like Um Fifi, mm-hmm. one with her in six nine, which is very popular. She added it to an album as a bonus track, so she gets the streams. Mm. So the preliminary was looking really. <clears throat> I don't even blame her. Everybody does that. Drake does that with like Hotline Bling on views after a year plus, and mm-hmm. everybody does it. So <clears throat> I don't blame her. But if the music is as good as like the numbers would reflect, mm-hmm. if you're there like you say you are, and so I don't know. You just come off so unlikable. Just focus on the music. And this is coming off when she she snapped on that person in uh, the in the uh, DM. Yeah, they just asked the, the random report. asked the music for growth. She's asked her to, Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said you're 35. You gotta stop acting like you're young. She went the she fuck, went the fuck off. off. But she then she went off like a week ago about DJ Self and. Oh, I forgot. Safari and all these people <clears throat> talking about some Safari paid for his hairline and stole. That's that's first. That story is hilarious. Yeah, threw Tiger in there. Yo, if Safari I was Tiger, went to the same doctor. I'd be so fucking minding tight. his business in I'm LA. Like, come on, son. <laughs> <laughs> come on. <laughs> Niggas probably didn't even realize he got his hairline done. He out, and now everyone yeah, everyone knows. knows. Yeah, she's been um having a rough one. Yeah, we don't know these people obviously, but you just appear so unlikable. When yeah, you do yeah, stuff yeah, like that. It's like you just I feel like anyone who who like says anything negative about her, she feels the need to reply, which doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't. Especially not at this point in her career. I can see if this was like newfound fame cuz then you like you're not you don't you don't really understand like there's going to be haters no matter where you go, you don't understand all that. Yeah. She's been in the game about 10 plus years now. Nikki was like on top of the world when we, like our freshman year in college. Like that's when yeah, like, and all through college. Yeah, but it's not like, till recently. There yeah. was no other female rapper you would say like not skill wise, but acclaim wise. Yeah, she had people out here wearing pink hair and looking crazy. She had it on lock. Yeah, like, there was no other female rapper you would talk about. Yep, but, that's the thing about like the music industry and just like unless a, you're Drake. <laughs> that's a that's a fact. But being a celebrity though, like yeah. your time can go like that, and you can't get like so. Attached to that acclaim and that fame Because then you end up looking like this Yeah She's snapping on anyone who says anything negative about her It's like the weirdest thing ever Because she's not at the height she previously was When nobody really is Nobody's selling like they usually are no. but You got everything else still Yeah And you still success It doesn't make any sense If she does a tour Her tour is still going to sell out That's the thing Period. She has loyal devoted fans Yeah And the first weekend everything you could do another eighty the second week and another eighty the third. Like she'll, this album probably go gold. Yeah, eventually platinum. You got o- all the over streaming the year, stuff? over the year That's the too. Thing. But people hey. ain't never satisfied. No. Mm-mm-mm. Hey, what, what else we got? Oh, we got Zaretha. Hmm. Uh, and on a sad. <laughs> yeah. Guess we got to. Should have done this again. Real but, queen. What day was that? I forgot to. Be sometimes honest. last, sometime last week though. But it was you saw Madonna try to make it about her yesterday. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. All right, before we get into that, let's talk about this. Thing. She did a tribute, and from what I read, it's just she made it. <laughs> she made the tribute. She did a tribute to uh, Aretha Franklin at the VMAs, but what I read, she just tried to turn it into something about her, Madonna. But I didn't watch it, but the reaction I read and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know about yeah. it, but we just gonna laugh about it, and then y'all can go look that up. Yeah, Madonna out here trying to steal some fame. <laughs> but um, now nah, in all seriousness, though, 
so sometime last week it was after we recorded, which is why we didn't get to speak on it. But uh, Aretha Franklin, I knew she was sick, um, and they said that she could go anytime soon. Um, but then a report came out saying that she was fine, and then like two days later, she just passed away um, out of nowhere. And granted, she was seventy six. A lot of people say you know she lived a a, a good long life, but it just goes to show at the same time, um, life is short. You know. She influenced a lot of people through her music. Very influential. Impact, yeah. Queen of Soul, like, had impact on a lot of people. A mm-hmm. lot of people's... Um, a lot of people, um, like, new artists, R&B artists, say that, you know, she influenced them. Um, had a great range in her voice. She could, you know, sing so many, you know, lifelong songs. That That's one thing about music, man. Music just continues on. Mm-hmm. It's like people... Years after us, even will continue to hear her music and be inspired by her music. So, you know, we just wanted to say, uh, rest in peace to her. You know, prayers out to her family, yeah, yeah. her friends, every anyone that was ever associated with her that's you know been hurt or saddened by this news because it's uh it's difficult, you know, dealing with death. And um, quick aside, man, it's crazy. I was so I was in Virginia this past weekend. And um, when I first moved to Atlanta, one of my really good friends in Atlanta, his uh, his stepfather, I'm not, you know, I'm not using any names, but his stepfather, really cool, man. He used to, like, tell us, come over. He used to, like, always, like, let us eat food over there, all that stuff. Just randomly had a stroke on Saturday mm-hmm. and died. He was 50 years old. Wow. 50, just randomly had a stroke <clears throat> in his sleep and died, passed away. Shit. It was crazy. I saw it. I was like, I started seeing it on Facebook and, like, Instagram. I'm like, wait, what? 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 Just in his sleep, had a stroke and died. Shit. It's crazy. 50 yeah. years old. I'm like, life is short, man. You got to cherish life. Do things that make you happy. Mm-hmm. Um, Just go after your goals, man. Just push, push, push. But life is short. Don't wait till tomorrow to do anything because tomorrow's not promised to anyone. Word. <sighs> Word. Sad. Well put. How do we not end on a sad note? Uh, you might just have to. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Yeah, enjoy <laughs> these last... If you're in New York City, enjoy these, these last three days. weeks of summer because it's gone now. Even this, this, this it's August a, night. It's a brisk it's August night brisk, out here. I'm yeah. like, ooh, a lot of wind blowing, mm-hmm. trees shaking. I'm like, what's going on? There's nothing but warm vibes, but now this feels like a... yeah. I put, my shades on, I put my shades on today just for the feel. For the feel, yeah. The that sun, my was hitted. <laughs> sun was hitted. Put my shades on just for the feel. Like, yeah, it's still summer. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing. Yeah. But as always, guys, make sure you rate, share, subscribe. Check the YouTube page. Subscribe to the YouTube page. Mm-hmm. Um, IGTV. IGTV. We're putting vid- videos up there. Um, you know. Apple Music, Stitcher, you know where to find us. Everywhere you can find pod- podcasts, we're there. Make sure you share it and just keep spreading the love. Till next time, it's cooling out. Stay cool.